Hi, I'm going to take a quick minute to show you how you can use the toolkit, film toolkit that comes with the film Bohemian set and the film uh, pastel set. How you can use the toolkit to create additional preset looks. So when you get the, you know, you buy the set, Bohemian with the pastels, you get the toolkit, which enables you to, to multiply the number of presets you have. So let me illustrate. So I'm going to use the Film Bohemian here, and I'm going to use Serendipity. So I'm going to come down here. All right, I love it. It's moody. It's beautiful. And I just want to do a few things to it. And so I'm going to come down to the Film Toolkit. And you notice that we can increase co contrast, decrease it, increase exposure, decrease exposure, and so on. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to increase the exposure just a little bit. And then I'm going to move down to the shadows. And what that does is it's going to brighten or darken anywhere that is a shadow area. And so let's say I want to darken it. So I'm going to click on Tone Shadows Hard. And it just really creates this moody light uh, lighting, doesn't it? And I love it. And if we wanted to, I could come up, if I say, oh, I want a little more light, then I could increase the light, but I might really like it just like this. You know, it might just be what I want. And so I'm just going to do a little quick snapshot. Serendipity. Three. And then I'll illustrate. So here was ser serendipity only. So that's it alone. That is the tweak I did just now with the toolkit. Here is another tweak I made. This is where I lighten the shadows and I chose one of the white balance changes. And here is another one. Okay. So look at the multiple number, the number of preset looks, um, alternatives that we can have by utilizing the toolkit. So I'm going to show you another one here. And make sure it's reset. I'm pretty sure it is. All right. And with this one, I am going to use Dreamcatcher. Now, I really love Dreamcatcher, except for in the, her eye area, it really creates too much contrast and we kind of lose them. So I'm going to come down here and let's see if I can reduce the contrast. Okay, that brings a little bit, a little bit more, but I'm going to back up because I can get the same. Uh, look by adjusting the shadows. So if I come here to shadows neutral, it really brightens up our eyes, but also brightens up our background. And I'm okay with that. I actually like it brightened up. Then we get to see, it's like that, that bokeh is even more visible and it's just beautiful to me. And with this one, you know, we can darken it if we want to come up here and uh, darken it, tone it down a little bit. We can change the white balance if we want. But here, I'm going to, oops, I didn't mean to do that, show you some snapshots. So here was Dreamcatcher alone, and there is Dreamcatcher plus the toolkit where I bite up the shadows, but also warmed up the white balance. So it gives me two looks. I could even just, I could have just um, brightened up the shadows and left it there, and that had been it that. So we'd get that look or we could change the white balance. But I love the toolkit, what that provides in terms of tweaking these presets to create all new looks, all new creative um, edits for your images. I hope you enjoy your film pastels and film bohemian um, along with the toolkit as much as I do.